Today is Sunday, June 6th. This is the 1964 Cadillac DeVille left-hand driver side chrome-plated escutcheon bezel, sometimes referred to as the switch plate, which holds all of the electrical switchery for the power seat mechanism, which is a six-way actuating eight-degree freedom switch, the four-button cluster switch for the four power windows, and the emergency lockout rocker switch. So these three electrical inseparable sub-assemblies have been completely taken apart as shown in the uh, restoration uh, photo documentation that I've sent to Vic and they've been completely restored now I'm doing the functional validation test of the final fully assembled embodiments uh, there were some electrical shorting that had occurred obviously in the wiring that had caused uh, electrical transpositioning inside the switches and uh, so all that's been rectified with new internals on all three of the switches. The four button cluster switch for the power windows, the eight actuating or what General Motors refers to as six way power uh, seat switch and control module. It has a tilting in the front and back, tilting in the front, in the, in the rear, unified up and down and a linear actuation front and back. And then the emergency rockout switch, which has <clears throat> a uh, rocking feature, which provides electrical continuity on an emergency basis uh, without the car uh, ignition having been turned, and also a toggle for locking out all of the other uh, uh, individual switches for the other three windows and facilitates only electrical power by the driver. Okay, and that's the neutral position. So I'm going to start out by uh, testing the emergency rocker switch and I'm going to turn these over so that we can see uh, the beautiful restoration work that was done uh, as is visibly apparent from the outer electrical prongs and I'm going to go ahead and apply power to the rocker switch and I have a light bulb here okay and we'll be looking for the light bulb to come on and when I toggle over Okay, when I toggle over, we have the lockout switch fully functional. <clears throat> and I go over to the rocker mode. And we see the light bulb coming on. Okay, so we have a fully functioning emergency lockout rocker switch. Okay, I'll go ahead and test now the four button cluster switch. And I'll be applying connection to each of the switches and we'll be looking for the light bulb to go on a little cumbersome here so driver up driver down rear driver side down Rear driver side up. Passenger side up. Passenger front rear uh, going down. So passenger front going down. Passenger front going up. Passenger rear going up and passenger rear going down okay so that's all four of the power windows driver side front driver side rear passenger side front passenger passenger side rear all fully tested and fully functional now we have the eight degree of freedom six what general motors refers to as six-way power seat forward back unified up and down tilt up and down in the front tilt up and down in the back so the first uh is a little bit tricky in getting the uh connections uh, done appropriately So 
So the first thing I'm going to test is the forward. There we go. So this is the linear traversing forward, forward, rear, forward, unified up and down, down, up, down, up, and that is the center joystick. So that's unified up, unified down, unified up, unified down. So we've tested the linear front and back and the unified rising and lowering. Now all we have left to uh, test is the tilting front and rear. So let's see if we can get those pins connected properly. Tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up tilt down and now the other side tilt up tilt down tilt up tilt down so we've tested the tilting up and down in the front the tilting up and down in the rear previously we uh, tested the unified rising and the unified lowering as well as the linear front and back actuation so that is a Fully validated, 8 degrees of freedom, 6-way power uh, control module for the power seat, which in 64 is mounted in the escutcheon bezel, or what is referred to as the switch plate. So we've tested the emergency lockout and rocker switch, we've tested the power seat control module, and we've tested the 4-button cluster switch for the power windows. Everything is fully validated and fully functional. And uh, hopefully Ron has got his, uh, and Vic have got their electrical uh, wiring uh, shortages uh, corrected so that the, the switches here won't burn out again. So this is Georgia, Florida. I have over 75,000 original vintage 1959 to 1964 Cadillac items in my collection. Over 375,000 1959 to 1976 Cadillac items overall. I'm best known for my restoration of the Cadillac steering wheels, the tilt and telescopic steering columns, the power seat mechanisms, the instrument clusters, and a, a plurality of different uh, electrical switches. So today is Sunday, June 6th. This is George in Florida. Thank you very kindly.